Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to talk about how to start programming in 2023. My aim is to get you to write your first line of code at the end of this video. I have more than 10 years of experience as a software engineer. At the moment, I work as head of engineering in a fintech startup in Auckland. I will highly encourage you to watch this video until the end because I'm going to help you to write your first line of code even if you're watching this from your mobile phone. I'm going to divide this um, video into four different sections. First one is actually picking a language. I'm going to give you straightforward recommendations. And the, se uh, the second one is what are the tools you should use? What are the best tips and tricks you can do to get you to learn faster? Third one is a little Jedi mind trick, actually noticing logic in day to day life. And the fourth one is actually writing your first line of code today. Okay, the first section of the video, what language you should be using the direct simple answer for this is any language that you find comfortable but for sake of simplifying things i will recommend you to try python if you are a beginner you haven't tried any coding or haven't taken any classes and also javascript is also a good candidate there are different reasons why you should use one or the other but both of them have a wide variety of uh, applications that you can use for example with python you can do web pro programming and you can do iot and you can do data data science machine learning huge variety of things and uh, same with javascript you can use it for building mobile apps especially front-end and back-end applications so you cannot go wrong with either but if you are a really beginner I would uh, recommend Python because just because the syntax is much easier to understand. But a uh, full disclaimer here, I'm a big, huge fan of Python. That's my favorite language. I do use mo a lot of languages, but Python is my favorite language. So that's a, uh, that's a biased uh, opinion. Let's move on to the second part. Second part is how you should learn. This is, um, this is a little tricky. It depends on the person, but I will try to give you recommendations depending on my experience. I think the very first one is stick to simple tasks rather than just trying long videos long courses try and do something write code yourself even if it is like a simple print statement simple if else conditions so there is actually no substitute to writing code if you want to get better at it you have to write code that is uh, the basic truth and start small i think uh, for any language uh, normally the the official documentation is a, a good uh, good place to start but if you are watching a video if you are watching a tutorial i would recommend you to stick to smaller concise ones after you get your basics try to do a simple project i think in this case i have a controversial idea about how to get this started i would say just get a project started as soon as possible even if you copy paste the code so just get something working. For example, if you are doing a web project, I think your aim should be to get this working as soon as possible. Just because you are starting new, when, when you see something working, I think it just gives you a certain joy. Because of that, I think it can encourage you to carry on. But otherwise, if you try to do everything perfect, learn everything possibly you can, I think it will actually uh, probably discourage most people because most people will be like, ah, oh, this is too hard. I'm, I, I'm, I'm giving, giving it up. So um, my uh, actual biggest recommendation is to actually start small because of this reason. And also it's the same with the length of tutorials or the tutorials you should be picking up. If you pick uh, tutorials that are really large and very long, for example, this has happened to me personally with a lot of Udemy courses because you just buy it and follow along with a couple of chapters and then you don't really uh, keep up with the task. If you're a really disciplined uh, person, then I think it should be fine. But other than that, just stick to smaller tasks, uh, smaller exercises, then it'll be much better. And the other biggest one is once you have learned the basics, you can do uh, projects as I uh, explained, you can do simple projects. And even if you copy paste the code, get something working, modify a few things. For example, if you built a website, you can say, ah, oh, okay, I'm going to change the color of this uh, button, or maybe I'm going to try and move it to a different place. Or then after that, you can probably 
try and introduce a new page, a new feature. So slowly build up, not just trying to do a big thing and uh, do a big bang release at the very beginning. Next up, there is another important tip regarding uh, relating to this. When you are starting out, after you've kind of learned few basics, for example, let's say with Python, you know how to print something, you know how to write a for loop, you know how to write an if condition, you have done a tiny project that you can actually sh uh, show someone try and apply and get a job as soon as possible as a an intern or maybe a very junior engineer at any company that is uh, willing to provide that training for you i think actually that will alleviate all the planning and all the all the discipline that you need to have because you'll be going to work and at work at least you'll be working for eight hours every day so if you play your cards right within six months you'll be pretty comfortable with at least one language. Next section of the video, noticing basic logic in day-to-day -day life. I call this a Jedi mind trick. Because, for example, think about a scenario that you open your fridge in, at your home and um, notice that there is no milk. So if there is no milk, you go and buy it from the supermarket or wherever you buy milk. So that's a logical operation. If not there, buy it else no need to buy it so we don't really think about in uh, day to day logical task in that way so what i'm t um, asking you to is notice this it'll make you a better logical thinker at least in my opinion every software engineering task is actually solving a problem then uh, what you have to do is get this bigger problem break it down to smaller different um, uh, parts and then achieve this in, in code so if you actually start noticing this, I think as a mind shift, it'll be easier for you to code. That's, that's something I thought of. Having that out of the way, we can move on to coding, which is the most exciting part of, the, of this video. So I have my iPad here with some notes in it. I'm going to put the URL in the video description. So basically it's going to be an online code editor. If you have uh, an iPad like me, it'll be easier or even in your uh, computer, it'll be much easier, but you can still do this even in your, in your mobile phone. Okay, I'm gonna switch to my screen here. Now when you, you can see when you start, there is just uh, this one statement called print hello world. In Python, this is, this is how you just print anything. What you can do is just run, click run, and you can see the result. Uh, and simply you can go and say change the word hello world to hello your name isuru so i can run it and you can see the result okay the next really simple example i'm gonna uh, do is i'm gonna make this up as i go this is how you define a variable in python so we have defined a variable called is there milk in the fridge and it says true that means there is milk so we can write a logical operation to check whether it is there. For example, let's say if I'm going to copy this, it's easier for me to copy it then and paste it double equal true. That means we can print. And the other one is else, else, that means there is no milk. Okay, now we can do print need to buy milk. So I think that should do it. So we can run this and see. Hello, is it says hello is zero. There is milk, make some coffee. And what we can do is we can go and change this uh, variable to false and run the same thing and say, hello Isuru, need to buy milk. And also if you want to get rid of that hello Isuru statement, what you have to do is you can keep it and just put a hash in front of it. That means uh, it gets ignored by the interpreter. That's a, that's a comment. So if you do more and more like this, it'll become easier with time. I think 
that's it for today's video let me know what you think and um, if you still want another same uh, very similar example with uh, javascript I'm, I'm happy to do do that for you guys comment down below if you have any questions i'm happy to answer them and see you on the next video thanks for watching cheers